All right, I always knew this day was coming. It is payback time. You know, all those evenings Ben spent over there at my house, cutting on cap, laying papers at midnight. All righty, Ben's getting all excited. Ben, why are you excited? I'm allowed to cut here shortly. What? You mean you get to run the paper saw? Yeah, I'm allowed to because I'm, I'm the most skilled operator. You are? Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. What does it mean when you have work life on your job site, Ben? The sun's just about to come up. <laughs> well, it has come full circle. Ben is starting his project now. And so it is six something a.m. on Friday morning and I'm heading over there to help him get uh, some design and layout stuff done. And of course get coffee. That's a, I mean, I'm already half out, so. We need to make sure that that's, uh, that life-sustaining source is there. But I'm looking forward to it. Ben Ben deserves this. He uh, had a grass backyard, grass patio, pretty much just like we did for many years. And when you build stuff like this, you need some of it in your own backyard. So I'm excited to see him do it and see what it turn, turns out like. Machines are here, gravel's here, trucks are here, plates here, pavers are here. Let's go see what Ben's up to. Hey, come on in. <laughs> oh my, this is bad. Here, I'll have to help him real quick. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few drops for you. <sighs> oh, they, oh, we have breakfast? Yeah, oh, wow. Good for you. Yeah, I've been up a while. Just thinking about it. No, I went into the shop and got some dimes. This morning already? Yeah. Wow. Good morning. Well, no, well, I had them last night, but they needed that rig this morning. So uh, I would try to make it that I would have enough of pavers to come out with a, a four foot sidewalk out here. That you could come in, do this, and then go in against that door if you want, or just do a stepping stone there. And come in and I think just with the nature of this I'd probably leave a flower bed in between now you could come right out from the door and leave a flower bed in there or you can turn it all into hardscape either way it would look really cool to kind of borealis sidewalk it the whole way into the door that's what I was thinking to do have you ever seen Dan Preston's designs uh -uh. he does amazing Cut stuff, stuff in yeah the like, look at oh this. yeah yeah what I like about that is I can use lots of different kinds and colors yeah, and pavers. like that that that's amazing. Neat. He spends so much time making sure every... Look at inside the fire pit. Look at that. That's neat. I can respect that. He's an artist. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of doing you could almost something, do something like, like that. that. You could almost do something like that with your Borealis. With Borealis. Instead of making it a sidewalk. I like the sidewalk idea. Remember the time you made me do the sidewalk around the back of my house and I wasn't gonna? Yeah. Remember that? It's a lot easier to put mind of reason on when you're not paying for it. <laughs> yeah. I want to see how much square footage of the ZP hen. I want to make sure we're not wasting any of it. Let's just say 17 and a half. I think we're gonna, stay on the outside. No, stay on the board. Yeah, right yeah. I think we're going to have extra. So 20, so 17 and a half by 20. So how much did you have of that Borealis? Well, I mean, no, the, the EP Henry? 296. Okay, well, this is probably gonna work because I came out with 350 if this whole thing was a square. I like it, that's about what I had in mind. And I like just continuing that walkway into the right house. Right into the house, yeah. And I, I, I honestly like when Hardscape has soft pockets like landscape here. I like it, I was just worried about space. I don't think but that's, that's really going to be usable space small. anyway. Yeah. I have been hoping to keep the grill. Well, you can still do that. Just use one of your fancy concrete pads or set it on, set it on gravel or yeah. something. That way you could stand here on the... Yeah. And still... Nothing would really change. Because yeah. it does a relatively good job at hiding that. <laughs> that's how we cook steaks. That's how we cook steak around here. Oh my goodness. I didn't really burn the house. I now. know. Yeah. Okay. I think that'll be nice. Cool. I am so ready to be able to sit out here on mornings like this. Exactly. No, this will be exciting. It's as long overdue. All right, let's give you a little update. This is fun. Somehow it's, uh, it's different when it's at your house. It's, it's more fun. I saw that my camera was not on time lapse. It was on something else 
it's not regular video, but I forget what it's called. It's a real slow time lapse, so we missed some of this. But we have the walkway excavated out. I ran uh, my drain pipe down here. We're working on getting in some stone. The walkway's done. It's coming along. I got a lot of work to do this weekend if I want to get this done. Yeah, I think that's going to be a nice space. It's not really going to be anything super fancy, kind of pavers are going to be a little bit uh, a coat of many colors, I guess. Regina, do you want a patio? Huh? She's not sure she wants a patio. We're going to have to cut the grade down all along here. That still comes up some, but I'm going to have to cut that out. Probably going to make all of that a flower bed along there. They're already enjoying the, the outdoor living space. This pad of clean stone is more fun than the grass they had. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll put you on time lapse and I'll get some stone in here. Okay. Now well, the stone's in and I painted it out a little bit. So I'll give you a rundown of the plan for the coat of many colors. This walkway there up to there, that's gonna be out of Taco Block Borealis. It's herringbone pattern Borealis. Leftover from a job somewhere that for some reason it wasn't returnable. Maybe it's discontinued, I'm not sure. Yeah, freebie stuff, you know. Come down here, this is gonna be Borealis all the way into the house then off of here this whole section in here is going to be um it's an ep henry paver it's also a discontinued product and we had three skids of it sitting there at the shop for a long time and i said hey i'll take that so i'm gonna put that in there and then over here we're gonna put in a circle of some porcelain we got a really nice porcelain paver in for a pool project and they had some left over. Once again, it wasn't really enough to return. So I snatched it. Here it is. This is a really, really pretty product. I don't know how well my colors are gonna go together and stuff, but that's a start. This is almost white, but that's that porcelain paver. Oh, and I forgot. It's only an inch thick, which means I need to screed different. It's a pain in the neck. But that's gonna look pretty, I think. Here's um, the Borealis plank. It's a wet cast. That's what that looks like. You'll see it when I put it in. That's what the walkway is gonna be out of. And here's the paver. I really like that color. It's a pretty color. Well, my goodness, I had some problems. I thought I had two skids of Bristol Stone 1 and one skid of Bristol Stone Two. I did have the two skids of Bristlestone 2, except the skid that I thought was Bristlestone 1 is some for other weird E.P. Henry paver. I, I don't know, it's old. The, the Bristlestone 1 and 2 you can lay together, but this paver didn't work. You could not lay it together. Hey Ben, pretty soon it's time to break out the cereal, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I have for lunch. Did you? I did actually have honey bunches of oats. The only problem is it's not quite 3 a.m. yet. Yeah. Let's not. I'm growing older and wiser. <laughs> Let's not do that again. <laughs> 